uh, hi everyone welcome to the session so let's solve this very uh, simple but interesting uh, interview question so here we have two inverter back connected back to back okay and we have two nmos here the vx is always zero and we have a vy and this is a square wave okay of 5 volts and this is zero volt now we have to comment what will be the v out okay so there can be some options okay in your written test or interview okay but we are not going to uh, uh, like uh, see the answers and solve that we will try to solve the input yeah like in intuitively okay so here so we can see that uh, the vx is always zero so if the, like as this is the nmos so nmos cannot be turned on because the vg is always zero and this is always less than vtn okay let's say the vtn is on board so this MOSFET is never conducting. Okay, so this will be an open switch, right? So if I make this open switch, so this will be looking like that. So this is a very high impedance. Okay, this is very high impedance. So this will be the equivalent picture for this VX. Now what will happen at, okay, let's say this is, let's say uh, this is uh, T1, this is T2, and this is T3. And let's say this is T4. Now at 0 to T1, the Vy is 5 volt. Okay, so this is 5 volt. So and S is grounded. So the VGS of this MOSFET is greater than VTN. Okay, so this diode will turn on. Okay, so what will happen? So it will act as a pass MOSFET, right? Okay, so actually don't go for small signal analysis for this type of circuit. So the uh, here the uh, MOSFETs are acts as a switch. Okay, so this this uh, ground will reach there okay and this is a nmos it is a very good pass of logic flow so this zero volt reaches here okay so if this zero volt reaches here so this is a inverter so it will invert this output so this output will be five volt and if this is five volt this inverter will make this node is zero volt okay so this is a cross coupled lad you can say okay so so this loop is always valid okay so to make this type of loop is that this becomes fixed voltage and this becomes fixed voltage and it is uh, doing a latching okay it is doing latching so we are find that uh, when at so let me draw the waveform so at t equals 0 to t1 the v out output is uh, okay so this is on volt right uh, yes this is on volt like the logic on so this will be 5 volt so this is 5 volt now what will happen at t equals uh, t1 to t2 so you can see the v, v, vy is 0 okay so now let vy is 0 so this will be 0 volt and this is also 0 volt so this uh, mos is switch off okay like this switch is off so what will happen so this will act as open circuit okay so this is open circuit so what will happen the circuit will be loop, uh, like in a loop the circuit is in a loop so this is Will, this will hold this previous voltage because here we have a, some parallel cap as well so you can think of so there will be a there previous it is 5 volt this was 0 volt and this was 5 volt okay again right so it will hold this previous voltage like that so it will like that like there will be no conduction of this MOS and of this mod but the current will flow in this branch okay and the latch will hold this previous voltages so at t equals t1 to t2 it will be again 5 volt now what will happen at t equals 2 to uh, t t uh, greater than t2 and less than t3 so again the v vy is 5 volt so again this this mosfet will contact and this 0 volt will reach there okay so eventually same thing will happen so this will always give a logic high at v output okay so this is the final answer okay so it is it it like if this v y is given like that and uh, so the output output is always logic high okay so this is the takeaway logic high is 5 volt so it doesn't depend on the x and doesn't depend on the y okay so this type of is this type of circuit is always giving logic high at the output node and this node is giving always a zero Okay, logic low, logic low, and this is logic. 
सो दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन ओके